In patch 11 of Sunsoft Forest, the electricity system has been expanded. Now solar panels don't work during the night, you can place them anywhere and have a limit on how much they can power. This is going to be a fast guide on how the electricity system works. Solar panels now have this indicator. This will be at 100 watts most of the day. From 17 to 18 however, this will start to decrease until it reaches 10 watts and everything shuts down. There you can see this red circle telling you that stuff doesn't work anymore. Additionally, in this update, light bulbs have this green circle when they have power, which is really nice. Solar panels no longer work during the night, so this is why the new big battery was added. The role of this battery is to provide energy during the night. They will not increase the efficiency of the grid, nor you should be afraid that you will run out of power. Also, weather and seasons do not influence the grid in any way. Whenever you have a solar panel linked to anything, you got a grid. One solar panel can power a total of 10 light bulbs. Adding anything more than this will kill your grid. But do not worry. You can just remove any elements from the grid and it will work again. When it comes to lights, you can even switch them off and they will not count as load for the grid. Now remember that indicator I was talking about. Having one light bulb will warn you with this flashing light at 20 watts and it will die at 10. Having two light bulbs in the grid will warn you at 30 and the grid will fail at 20. This rule will apply until you hit 10 watts. As I said before, 10 light bulbs is the limit. But if you want to add more lights to your building or get rid of this annoying flashing warning, you can always connect more solar panels to the grid. This construction has 21 light bulbs which means you need 3 solar panels for it to work. This is the solar panels that feed the grid. To link it with the others, you must place a wire between them. It does not matter how you link it, however, that be in series, having one solar panel work as a node, or if every solar panel fits the grid individually. In order to power electric fences, which are just a fence with water on top, you must take another wire and link it to the solar panel. One solar panel can power 20 electric fence links, and only 20. That means if you connect the solar panels to two different fences, and the number of links in total is over 20, the entire grid will fail, and either will work. So if you have multiple fences, or a fence that is longer than 20, which is probably something that you will have, you will need to have more solar panels. When it comes to damage, this will stay at a constant of 20 in normal mode. So that means it won't increase by adding more solar panels, or how you link them. Nor distance from the solar panel will decrease its damage. I hope end night will add more uses for electricity in the future. But for now, this is all we got, and I will see you later.